Donald Trump just can't seem to stay awake. On Monday, April 22, ex-president, who is in the midst of his hush money trial case, had to be jolted awake for the fourth time since the legal proceedings began on April 15. Investigative reporter Suzanne Craig wrote, Trump is struggling to stay awake. His eyes were closed for a short period. He was jolted awake when Todd Blanche, his lawyer, nudged him while sliding a note in front of him. On Monday, the trial resumed with opening arguments and time permitting, testimony from National Enquirer publisher David Pecker, who was allegedly involved in numerous catch and kill schemes, meaning he bought stories to cover up for Trump, 77. In October 2016, Stormy Daniels wanted to come forward and share her story about her alleged affair with Trump, but Pecker contacted Trump's personal attorney, Michael Cohen, who negotiated a deal to purchase her silence for $130,000, documents revealed. Trump denied any wrongdoing. As OK previously reported, Trump fell asleep a few times last week, and late-night hosts couldn't help but mock the businessman. Unfortunately, the trial isn't televised, but there are reporters in the courtroom, including Maggie Haberman of the NY Times, who let us in on this little gem, Kimmel said during his show last week. If Biden is sleepy Joe, I guess that makes you Dozo the clown, huh? I mean, can you imagine, imagine if Joe Biden fell asleep in the court on the first day of his trial? Trump would be calling him comatose Joe. Fox News would be talking about this until Christmas. But not old Donnie Nappleseed, he continued. Multiple reports said Trump's head drooped until his chin hit his chest which, I don't know, maybe he was just following the price of his truth social stock. Either way, it's nice to see even Donald Trump is exhausted by Donald Trump. Meanwhile, Jon Stewart also had so fun and eviscerated Trump. After years of anticipation, the first criminal trial of a former president has begun, the comedian, 61, said at the top of his show. And by all accounts, it is absolutely riveting. Imagine committing so many crimes you get bored at your own trial, he said before airing a clip of Trump after the first day concluded.